Well, hi. Thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing a little bit more of an Elder-focused gameplay. We're going to be playing with a fairly new mod that's currently in early access by mod creator Maple Bell. It's a mod focused around nursing homes for elders. Well, it's more of a mod about the process of getting an elder into a nursing home. I think the nursing homes themselves are rabbit holes. But seeing as nursing homes were forgotten completely in the Growing Together pack, at this point I'll just take what I can get. So for today I'm just going to show you how this mod works, and if you like the look of it, I'll link it in the video description. As I said, it's currently in early access for patrons, but it will be available for free for everyone later on in the month. So we're using the same family I used, I think last time I did a mod review actually, the Jackson family. I have one elder in this home, Colleen who's talking to herself in the mirror. She does have this little bedroom here, but her son Alec and daughter-in-law Heather, they already have quite a few kids. They've got three of them, so, you know, bags of kids. They don't have the biggest house, bit cramped for space, so it's probably, probably time we kick old grandma out, get her to fend for herself a little bit. You know, maybe she could start a gang in the elder home. She could be the top bitch around there. Who knows what she's capable of? Let's just give her the opportunity. So I think her son... Wait, is Alec at work? Alec, you're supposed to be at work. Go on, get. Yeah, so I think in terms of signing Colleen up for the elder home, the nursing home, we'll get the daughter-in-law, Heather, to do it. I kind of feel like that would be... That would be appropriate, you know? The daughter-in-law is the one that doesn't really want Colleen around, criticising her cleaning and cooking skills. We just want to get Grandma out of the house. So, with this mod, you have a new option under computer called Nursing Homes. Looks like we've got quite a few options here. There are three different nursing homes, and I think they're different tiers. So let's start with the cheaper one, the Green Tea Care Home. But we'll take a look at all of them. And then Do Ponderosa is like the middle tier, like not too fancy, but not, not rough. And then we'll take a look at the Prestige Desert Palms. I mean, I can already tell you Colleen is not going to the expensive one, but... You know, we'll browse, we'll just have a look. Gives us something to do, doesn't it, Heather? Okay, so this is the cheapest one, Green Tea Home Care. It looks quite nice, actually. Nice enough house. Green Tea Home Care is a skilled nursing facility licensed by the City Council of Willow Creek. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, private care, private pay, and most insurances. Named among the top nursing homes in the nation, Green Tea Care Home is proud of its rich reputation for providing excellent care. Well, that's already pretty impressive, considering this is the cheapest one. Let's take a look. What, what's middle tier, then? This one's got to be even better. All right, so this is middle tier. I can't really see it very well because it's blocked by this rock, but this one looks a bit fancier. Everything is just outside your front door. A beautiful pool and spa, your own personal trainer, a salon, a speakeasy bar and a cinema, a top restaurant, a tranquil garden and a library to relax in. Share them with your friends and family or shut your front door and relax in your own home. Live your life to the fullest at Do Ponderosa. Okay, okay, these are looking pretty good. I mean, even the basic one is looking good to me. So, it kind of mentioned that in the description, but there is a financial element to this mod as well. You are able to apply for, like, financial aid to pay for the nursing homes, because I think you have to pay for them every week. And this is, you know, top-tier desert palms. We have thoughtfully designed homes with every facility you could want for a life as full or relaxing as you desire. Your apartment is very much your home, designed just as you want it, using your furnishings and art. Total privacy, but with world-class service and care available, if and when you want it. A community of like-minded people, waiting to become new friends. A calendar of exclusive social events to enrich your life. A central London home to give you access to one of the world's greatest cities. I'm not sure you'd find a desert resident home in London, but I can see why this one is top of the top. So that one, I guess you don't get a room, you get an apartment. I did read in the notes that you need a household, inv uh, household funds of less than 30 grand. So I'm just going to adjust our funds so that we are eligible for some kind of help. I would rather lose a substantial amount of my own money than pay for that nagging bitch to go into a home. She's getting a free pass. That's not spending my money on her. So I think we can do an interest form. Okay, so this is where we pick. So let's just go middle of the pond. Not too fancy, but not too cheap. Do Ponderosa. I mean, that one looked nice. I remember when I was at school, I used to volunteer at a nursing home a couple times a week. Yeah, I'm a pretty good person, you could say. And that's really the whole point of doing nice things, you know? So you can tell other people how good you are. 
helps you get away with doing shitty things every now and again. Thank you for your interest, a representative will be in touch. Oh, this'll be them. Hi there, Heather. This is John calling from the nursing home. I noticed you filled out an information form and wanted to reach out to personally to discuss our available options. Yes, I would like to know more. Okay, thank you for considering us. I'm not going to read all of this. Um, so we need a physician's order for admission to the nursing home. And then we'll have to pay a quarterly rate of 4,000 simoleons. Right, okay, perfect. I can do all that. She's got a mood buff. Supportive community from nursing home consideration. Heather will find solace in the encouragement and understanding from friends and family during this difficult decision. Well, it's not that difficult for you, Heather. She's not your mum. Okay, so we've been told what we need to do. So first thing, we got to speak to the physician. So I guess this will be it, right? Schedule physician meeting. I'm pretty sure this is where we have to convince the physician that we have good reason to send her away so that we get uh, like a referral or something. Interestingly though, I did read in the notes that if you had no good reason to send an elder to a nursing home, you can just bribe them. And just be like, look, they're just really getting on my tits. Just write me up a note, will ya? Okay, so who, choose a senior to accompany you. Oh shit, we've got to take Colleen with us. Okay, fine, we will. Thank you, Heather. Your meeting with the physician has been scheduled. You may come now for your appointment. I was hoping we wouldn't have to take Colleen so we could just make up some old shit, you know? Oh, Alec, you're home. Don't worry about where we're going. Mummy's fine. Not sure if Alec is completely on board with the decision, but you know what? He's just going to have to deal with it, isn't he? Okay, hello, Heather. Based on the information you provided, I understand you're considering sending the patient to a nursing home. In order to admit your loved one, we will need a physician's order. To assist you with this process, could you please share what symptoms they've been experiencing that may indicate a need for assisted living? All right, so what have we got? Coughing or wheezing, pain or discomfort, ringing in the ears, blurry vision, difficulty walking, joint pain, shortness of breath, memory loss, none of these. Well, what happens if we say none of these? Will she just come back and say, I'm sorry, not good enough? Yeah, Alec, make yourself useful, serve up some dinner. Hopefully we can get this process done quickly so you can make one less bowl for Grandma. Why is there a shitty diaper outside? Was that you? Huh? You could tell it was him, gloating. Okay, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen because I did click none of these and they're still at the physician's office, so maybe they'll just come back with a declined one. In which case, we'll just go back and then we'll say, Oh no, sorry, I forgot. She's very confused. That's why it's so urgent she needs to go to a care home, because the confusion is spreading to me. Good to see that you have provided the medical history of the patient with the documents. Now I'll proceed with a thorough physical and mental examination of the patient. Please proceed to the waiting room while I examine the patient. So I don't, I don't know if elders actually do display these, um, these symptoms. It's said in the notes that you have to use your imagination. So I think... Probably it's unlikely that Elder Sims will actually develop these issues. I wonder though if in the future this mod could be collaborated with something like the Healthcare Redux or something. So that they could flow cohesively and that way you could actually have an Elder with an issue they have to live with. Based on the information you provided, I understand you're considering sending the patient to a nursing home. In order to admit your loved one, we'll need a physician's order to assist you with this process. Could you please share what symptoms have been experiencing that may indicate the need for assisted living? Thank you or bribe. Oh. All right, let's just bribe. Fuck it, in for a penny, in for a pound, just bribe. Heather has unleashed their secret weapon, a hefty payment to the physician. Oh, your results are now available and can access them online. With this clever maneuver, they hope to sway the physician's decision in issuing a nursing home order of admission. Will this well-placed bribe be the key to unlocking a much needed paperwork? She's got a mood buff here. Shadow of suspicion from bribing physician. Despite maybe obtaining the nursing home order through bribery, Heather constantly worries about the possibilities of being caught and facing the repercussions. Oh, it's a scared mood buff. Oh, we all like to live life on the edge sometimes, don't we? So I think I should be able to check now. Um, consult physician's opinion, yeah. How much did- fucking hell, 10 grand we paid. That better have worked. Okay, what's the physician's opinion on Colleen? She's thinking about the money. <gasps> physician's order for continuing care at home. After thorough examination of your physical and mental health and careful consideration of your medical history, it's my professional opinion that at this time, admission into a nursing home is not the best course of action for your care and well-being. Oh, Dr. Johnson, you fucking prick. Right, can I just schedule another one straight away? Oh, I can't. What if I submit another interest form? Does that just start the process again? 
Oh, let me start the process again. Come on. Right, okay, so I've got the phone call again. Perfect. Yes, I'd like to know more. Hopefully that restarts the process. Oh, she's optimistic. Seeking the best care, Heather is determined to find a nursing home that offers top-notch care for their elders' needs. Oh, no, I fucked it. There's no option now. Okay, but the son can. Okay, so the son... Alec, I'm gonna have to get you on board with this. So Heather, she's fucked her chance, but Alex... Or well, Alec, you can schedule a physician appointment. And then this time we'll just say... We'll just say Grandma's confused. Okay, let's try this again. This time we will we will give good reason. Right, let's just say memory loss or confusion. And try again, Dr. Johnson. Okay, we're back. Our results are in. We can access them online. Okay, let's try again. This video might not be as successful as it as I initially thought. If I can't get this fucking if I can't get my elder into a nursing home. This better work, Alec. In case you want a divorce on your hands. <gasps> Physician's order for admission based on the results of your physical and mental examination and after careful consideration of your medical history It's my professional opinion that admission into a nursing home would be the best course of action for your care and well-being Yes, as such I'm issuing this physician's order for admission into the nursing home of your choice. Okay. We got it We got it right. Let's take a look at these financial options Can we get so we'll enroll in Medicare and then we'll do the veteran offer so far Oh, based on the information provided, we regret to inform you that the application, that the applicant is not eligible for medical care, for Medicare financial aid. However, there may be other funding options available. Okay, we'll try the veteran one then. So this mod has been made to not require any additional packs. So for that reason, you don't actually need to have your sim be a veteran, because that would require Strangerville. So let's try the veteran benefits then. I didn't just spend 10 grand on a bribe to not get any kind of financial aid. What was the other one? Private pay and self pay. Okay, well, let's wait and see what, what we get for the veteran stuff. Okay, we may be able to reduce the cost of nursing home if the senior is military veteran. I qualify. Please make sure this information is accurate. Yeah, it's true. We qualify. Yes, congratulations. Based on their military service record, they may be eligible for that financial assistance through the Department of Veterans Affairs. How much money though? How much? Can I do both then? Can I also do self-pay? Yeah. Choosing self-pay for your loved one's nursing home care offers you independence and control over their living arrangements. Yeah. With this option, you have the flexibility to customise their care and accommodation according to their needs. However, please keep in mind that staying up to date with the payment is your responsibility. We're here to ensure a smooth, comfortable experience for both you and your loved one. Right, we've reviewed our packets. We've done the physician. We've got our paperwork. Patient approval, I'm not too sure what this all is. To proceed with the am administration process, I'm guessing this is to get them approved into the paper? Oh, right. We asked for their explicit permission. It's crucial that they have a say in this decision. Oh, really? Is it though? Is it crucial? I'll tell you what, we'll ask the question and then if she says no, we'll just, we'll admit her anyway. Request permission for nursing home admission. Okay, ask the question. Hopefully she's reasonable. I mean, to be honest, if she was that reasonable, we wouldn't be putting her in, into a home, but hopefully today is the day. We turn a new leaf, Colleen. She seems okay. A nursing home? I never imagined myself in one, but I suppose it's worth considering. Okay, great, great. Happy you're happy, Colleen. Patient approval. I have permission. So there are actually a variety of ways that you can ha have your elder admitted to a home. I think I've accidentally covered all bases when I didn't need to, but I'm kind of glad I did because I've seen how the mod works. But I think you, o you only need one or the other. You either need a physician's note or an elder's permission. So actually that whole physician thing was completely unnecessary. I could have just gotten her enrolled just by getting her to say yes. So now we'll just wait till 8 a.m. and we'll pay a visit at the nursing home. Maybe you wanna start packing, Colin? Financial strain from choosing self-pay. Managing the expenses of the elder's nursing home through self-pay puts a strain on Alex's finances, causing stress and worry about meeting the ongoing financial obligations. All right, well, bang on eight o'clock. Submit application. Um, let's do do Panderosa. For some reason, the option for visiting isn't available now. I don't know why, but we've applied. Thank you for submitting your application. We've received it, currently being reviewed. Okay, so I think now we just wait. We just wait to hear back. All right, well, you guys just go about your business and uh, we'll see what happens. 
Oh, I just got a pop-up, but it was so quick. I think I missed it. I just got a pop-up saying your loved one has been accepted into the nursing home. So I guess now, yeah, a company elder away to nursing home. Okay, Colleen, it's 1am, I know that, but pack your bags. You're gonna make lots of friends, okay? So now she's gone. I think there should be an option to stay in communication with her, though. And also, while she's away, I mean, I guess she'll stay there until she dies. But you can also withdraw an elder sim from a nursing home at any time. Thank you for signing the admission form to admit your loved one into our nursing home. We appreciate your trust in us to provide the best care possible. Rest assured that we will prioritise their well-being and ensure their comfort during their stay with us. Blah, blah, blah. You could say goodbye. Okay, sign. Sign the name on the dotted line. So I wonder if she will be removed from our household or whether she will just remain greyed out now. Goodbye. Thank you for signing the admission form to admit your loved one into a nursing home. You can now say goodbye to them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I will go home. Okay, she's gone. Although she has... <laughs> she popped up there for a second. Payment for the nursing home will be automatically deducted from your account on the scheduled payment dates. Okay, so they've just taken a payment. Oh, reassurance of quality care. Knowing that the elder is in a reputable nursing home with qualified staff and proper amenities, Alec feels reassured about the quality of care being provided. Oh, that's nice. So if I go to nursing home now, what do I have? Okay, so I can withdraw her from the nursing home, but also I can pay a visit between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So we can still go and see her, you know, whenever we want. And that is pretty much the new nursing home mod in a nutshell. I really hope to see it expanded further in the future. I would love it if in the future it's expanded to the point where you can actually live in the nursing home. But if you are looking to add the ability to have elders go to a nursing home in The Sims 4, along with the full admission process, then this mod might be for you. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!